is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a brand new wwe action figure video for you guys and today this one is actually really interesting and one that i've wanted to do for quite a long time now and hopefully we can continue this series later on when we get new reveals of new figures and when i get ideas into my head but today i wanted to run through some of the new wwe figures we're going to be getting really really soon and talk about some fix-ups that you may want to do with them and some ideas that popped in my head and some that we may even perform on the channel so we won't be actually conducting the fix-ups today, but we will be showcasing what I'm thinking, and you guys can, you know, kind of visualize it in your head and get the idea for yourself, and maybe you guys will even think of other fix-ups that you can let me know about down in the comment section below, but this should be pretty fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy this, so let's go ahead and start off, guys, and show you just an example of what I'm talking about. So here on the left, guys, we do have the brand new Top Picks Kofi Kingston figure, and immediately what popped in my head is different fix-ups that we can do with these things. So for this first Kofi, guys, the first thing that I was thinking of is something you could switch the sleeves with, so I thought about his WrestleMania build a figure figure. Maybe you could put pink sleeves on this guy. Maybe you could even interchange the head sculpt with maybe that figure if you like it. I'm not big on the WrestleMania head sculpt, so I probably wouldn't switch that, but the sleeves are something, you know, maybe put some pink sleeves on there. Maybe even switching the kick pads on this guy, or maybe just even the feet, getting the black feet off, changing out the sleeves, you know, not giving it that XW or, uh, you know, Xavier Woods bicep. Or another thing you could do is take the bicep from this figure with the uh, Xavier Woods and put it on another Kofi to give him that same bicep band look because because I don't think his sleeved arm always goes up onto his sleeve. So you could either remove the blue paint there or you could, you know, just put it on a different figure. Another thing I thought about doing with this figure, you could possibly switch it out with the Elite 78 kick pads or the Elite 78 feet or the Elite 60 feet with the, you know, the winged feet. You got that. You got those two different head sculpts there would probably improve this figure a little bit. If you didn't want the blonde hair, that's another option that you could have. So there's a lot of different options with this Kofi Kingston figure, but I felt like, you know, some of these were the best. I'm not sure exactly. I don't think we've seen size of the attire so I don't know how much of it is Xavier Woods and has his face all over it so hopefully it doesn't have like a ton of Xavier Woods stuff all over it but uh, I, I still like this figure and I can't wait to do some fix-ups with it. Next up guys we have X-Pog. Now this one's relatively simple not something that's you know too uh, too harsh or anything like that. You guys can zoom in there on the thighs and you know it looks like he's going to have the tights mold which we always complain about you know it's like he's, he doesn't have tights on you know it's his bare skin leg so if you guys want to fix that issue all you have to do is take any Ric Flair a Elite, any Ric Flair figure, I'm pretty sure, and switch out the thighs. So you would disconnect it at the thigh swivel and plug it into the Xavier the Xavier Woods, into the Xbox figure right there. Hopefully the Xbox shorts don't come down too far, because if that comes down too far, it's going to really put a wrench in the plans. It wouldn't destroy it, but you probably would have to get rid of that white outline on the lower part of the shorts there. So hopefully it doesn't go down too far. I would hope it would just go up to the thigh cut. That would make the most sense to me. I guess we'll just have to see about that. I know they didn't do Matt Riddle that way but switching off the thighs and then putting the kick pads back onto the Ric Flair thighs and then plugging those in should be relatively simple. We're probably going to do that fix up when we get this figure but that is just something that I thought of. Next up guys is one that I'm actually really really excited about. You have the brand new Fan Central Randy Orton figure in the Royal Rumble 2004 gear. This is beautiful gear and it's something that I definitely will do. I hope I find this at retail a lot like I hope that there's multiple versions of this and you know I can get a lot of copies of this figure because one of the first things I'm going to do is torso swap it and head swap it, arm swap it, do the whole upper half of the figure will be switched out with his Elite 78 figure or his Elite 67 figure. I think the Elite 67 or Elite 78 is great because you have the torso with the tattoos up on it and it'll be like a modern Randy Orton in that throwback attire. Really beautiful looking and it'll have black tape. So you have the black arm tape, you'll have all the tattoos, you'll have the updated torso, you'll have the updated head sculpt, either the Elite 78 or the Elite 67. I don't think you can go wrong with either one, but I think that would be a beautiful looking fix up. The bright blue shorts or the trunk should look really good with those updated tattoos and head sculpt and that is one that I'm really excited to do hopefully I don't damage the torso doing torso swaps I haven't done one in a little bit but maybe that'll be something we can do and I think that'll be really fire really looking forward to that one next up guys is the elite fan central takeover Johnny Gargano now this one is a little different it's not gonna completely work out the whole way but if you guys want to fix that weird kick pad problem that he's got down below the only thing I can really think of to, that can you know put a little bit of a, a fix on it is to take the elite 73 Dan not the elite 73 the Elite 68 Daniel Bryan. Do a lower leg swap with the Elite 68 Daniel Bryan because he has lower legs that are molded in royal blue. Then you will take the uh, the feet off of the Daniel Bryan. Take the feet off the Johnny Gargano. Acetone the kick pads of the Daniel Bryan so they're just solid blue. And then put the feet of the Johnny Gargano back onto the Daniel Bryan. So you'll still have the feet with the black and you know yellow tied in. But the kick pads themselves will be longer and look better. But they won't have the design. So you would either have to paint the designs or 
or get decals or something but that's the best case scenario because you you know at least be uh, you know molded in royal blue you could do black but i think royal blue would make it stand out more it would pop more and you know you could add the black probably easier than you could add blue to black so that's probably what i'm thinking i'm gonna do we'll definitely do that when we do this switch on action figure surgery or something like that but johnny gargano was the next one on the list another one that i'm really excited to do guys is the brand new decade of dominance triple h figure now this one is obviously from the elimination chamber matchup where he retained the world heavyweight championship but a fix up that has popped in my head there's actually a couple here that i'll get through but you guys know as well as i do that the thighs of triple h are always on ball joints every triple h elite has ball joints so that helps us out a lot because you can take any triple h figure you know you can take the fan central you can take the elite 60 or the elite 73 you can take any of those triple h figures and pop the legs off and then put normal legs on there you can use the white tape you can use the black tape you can use the no tape you can use all kinds of different tapes or, or different versions of the legs, bare legs, and pop them in there. So it looks like he has regular black and red Triple H trunks on there. And another thing that I was thinking is switching the head sculpt out for, I don't know, I guess it's Battle Pack 20 Triple H where he took on Brock Lesnar. This is one of my favorite Triple H Elite face scans. It's the best. It's the best Triple H head sculpt to me, or it's one of my favorites. Put that head sculpt on this figure with the black and red trunks. That would absolutely look fire. I need to edit these together, but I think that would look absolutely fire. And another thing you could do is you can take the arms off and switch them out with the I think it's the Elite 28 Triple H with the black hand tape so then you'd have a black hand tape Triple H black taped legs Triple H and then you would have the black and red trunks with that you know Battle Pack 20 head sculpt another very beautiful head sculpt to put on there or you could just put a regular Elite 73 head sculpt on there with the baldness and the beard and that'd be a sick fix up but that is one that I'm absolutely doing I definitely have to do this one this one's one that I'm really excited about so the Triple H Decade of Dominance figure gotta grab a lot of those I'm, I'm looking forward to that one a lot think we can do a lot of cool swaps with it and I'm definitely gonna be getting that one next up guys is going to be John Cena now John Cena right here this one is pretty cool we're gonna take the defining moments figure his his first defining moments the draft lottery one we're gonna take the feet out of the Decade of Dominance put them into the other John Cena so that he has these shoes take the arms off of of the Decade of Dominance figure, put them into the Defining Moments again. So now he has black wristbands, the Converse looking shoes, black shorts, and then you're going to take the jersey and head sculpt off. So pretty much swap the head sculpt, the arms, and the shoes from this figure over to that figure. Leave the white tee on the Defining Moments draft lottery figure and the, the lock chain. You got to put the lock chain on there as well. And then paint the bucket hat black or white. You can leave it white if you want to. But if you paint it black, it will be matching to uh, a couple times when he came down to the ring on SmackDown and cut a bunch of rap promos. That is a attire that you may want to do or a fix-up you want to do. You can leave the white hat if you wanted to, but that's just a really simple John Cena 2002-2003 fix-up for you. Next up is going to be Survivor Series Elite Samoa Joe. Guys, this one's pretty simple. All we're going to do is head swap it with the Elite 64 Samoa Joe. That'd be a really simple you know, swap if you don't want that long, crimson chin beard type deal going on with the Samoa Joe and the Survivor Series Elite. You can get the Elite 64 Joe and head swap that and that will be a beautiful blue attire Joe with the Elite 64. Definitely going to try and do that swap once I get a couple of these figures because I want, you know, different versions and stuff. But that's a really simple one you can do. Next up, guys, is the Survivor Series Kane figure and this one, we got to give a huge shout out to Mac underscore decals on Instagram because he fixed this thing up beautifully. He he like, he did the Dremel technique, you know, the bald technique to the boots to give them more accuracy. He painted the studs on the belt he switched out the biceps with kevin owens elites to give it you know bigger biceps and then i think he had to switch the gauntlets because it does look like they did put them on wrong in the packaging so switching that out and i think he even painted the mask a little bit so you don't have to paint the mask i don't think but you know switching out those arms giving them the beefier arms i think brock lesnar arms work fantastic or braun Strowman arms those arms look really good like the biceps for those look really good that's how i have him on the fed looks really good i, I still think they need to make kane bigger because he was much bigger in the early 2000s like his his chest wise and you know just the girth of the man was massive so I feel like he may be a little bit too lean or tall and like kind of skinny here but Mac decals did a fantastic job of fixing that cane up and I'm definitely gonna have to do some of the same things he did to improve the figure and improve that cane collection next up ladies and gentlemen we have a John Morrison now John Morrison his is pretty simple all you're gonna do is you're going to take your elite four John Morrison I think one of those coats would look good I think the darker coat the one that I have the elite four I don't know if the chase variants the more orange or the more red 
red maroonish color, but taking that vest and putting it onto this John Morrison would look good. Switching out the head sculpt for the Elite 10 head sculpt would also look good, and possibly just switching out the head sculpt with his brand new Elite that's coming out. I don't know what series that's coming out, but his updated, you know, 2020 version of John Morrison. Switching that head sculpt onto the Survivor Series Elite would be a really beautiful one as well, and that's just a lot of different fix-ups I can think of. I think my Survivor Series figures are on the way, so I can't wait to review those for you guys, and we're going to see exactly what this Morrison's all about. It looks like an early contender for figure of the year. It just looks so damn good, but that is another one we can do. Next up, guys, is Elite 80 Rocky Johnson. Now, this one is kind of pretty much, it's pretty easy. You know, we never got our Titus O'Neil Elite figure, so all you're going to need is your Titus this O'Neill basic and you're just gonna head swap and knee pad swap and uh, pretty much boot swap this thing you could put black regular boots on there I don't think this Rocky Johnson has knee pads but if you you know you could easily just pop those off put regular black boots on there from a Randy Orton from a Triple H from so, so many different figures that have black regular boots and then you could just put your Titus O'Neill head sculpt on there and if you want to keep the RJ on there or you could just little acetone that off a little bit not using too much because you'll melt the plastic but there's a lot of stuff you can do or you can just get decals or something then paint over it. I don't know. But that's really easy. Something to make a Titus O'Neil really, really easy. Coming up next, guys, is my boy Kevin Owens. Now, Kevin Owens in this one, very easy to do. All we're going to do is switch out the left lower arm for now because his tattoo is way too big. The live tattoo on his left lower forearm is way too massive. All you got to do is switch out the lower left arm with his Elite 66 figure, and that should fix it. If a little bit of the live tattoo is still a part of the upper bicep, all you have to do is acetone that off. Shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be too difficult. Really easy to do right there and that should be one that I'm definitely going to be doing. We're going to fix this guy up, and I'm probably going to have to repaint the head sculpt like I did my custom Kevin Owens on action figure surgery, so that one will be pretty nice, but that's another one you guys can do. Coming up, guys, we have a couple of Kyle O'Reilly elites. Let's start off with the first with the Chase variant. If you guys want to get this, one thing I thought of, I thought at first you could switch out the kick pads with his epic moments but that has like maroon style you know like outlines on it and that wouldn't look good with this attire but you could switch it out with Mustafa Ali elite kick pads or decade of dominance Kofi Kingston kick pads in yellow and it's like a really bright yellow, nice saturated yellow that would look great with this attire because it is Undisputed Era. And you can do the same thing with the Chase variant Bobby Fish, kind of making them tie together. I think that'd be a pretty cool tag team, you know, attire right there for both of them guys to rock. So that's something you may want to do. And then on the Chase variant version, or not the Chase variant, the regular version, the regular version of Kyle O'Reilly, this one would be pretty sick. Now what I'm thinking is switching out the lower legs. Well, let's, let's start off with the top part. Let's start off with the top part. If you were to crack this torso, get rid of everything up top, you could crack the torso and switch it out for Adam Cole, the Elite 71 Adam Cole torso, or the Epic Moments. Put the head sculpt on there, put the arms on there, and then switch out the knees and lower legs with your Adam Cole Elite to give your Adam Cole the Undisputed Era War Games attire. That would be a simple way to do it without having to paint or use decals or anything. I'm not sure what's on the back of Kyle O'Reilly's trunks, but if it says O'Reilly or anything like that, it's not the biggest deal, I guess, if you know you're just looking for photography or just want, you're just going to show the figure from the front. But it does have the Undisputed Era logo on the front and you could easily switch all that out with Adam Cole and make an Adam Cole War Games attire. It's just something that I thought of. So that'd be a pretty simple and really nice Kyle O'Reilly switch. And then coming up on the last few guys, next up we do have Legend Series Eddie Guerrero. Now for this one, I'm thinking about just switching the boots with his last Legends figure, you know, with a kind of orangish tone to him. And then if that doesn't work or that you don't like the look of that, you could switch it out with his Hall of Fame figure that has more of a shinier gold, which would probably look better to be honest with you. So maybe the shinier gold Hall of Fame Eddie Guerrero boots would look better on this figure. But this is still a beautiful figure. I can't wait for this one. But if you wanted to touch up the figure just a little bit, adding those boots could do wonders for this figure. And then the last two that we got, guys, first up is Ultimate Warrior. Now this one I thought that I'm really excited about because you can switch this head sculpt out with Triple H. You can use like an older Triple H with the bald and bearded head sculpt. You could use the uh, you know the clean shaven like SummerSlam basic from back in the day with the longer hair. I think it I think that head sculpt came on what was it? I think it was the the Attitude Era figure that like kind of smirking face. I think is what it was. Putting that on there would give him like an evolution look. And then speaking of evolution, putting the brand new or the older Randy Orton head sculpt you know with the longer hair, the Legend Killer Randy Orton head sculpt. Putting that on here will give him kind of an evolution look as well. So if you guys want to make sort of an evolution Randy Orton or Triple H that would be a really sick fix up that I plan on doing there. They're kind of similar in height. They're right there in the area. I think 6'4 to 6'5, 6'6 area. So all those guys would look good in suit using those head sculpts. And then finally, guys, we have the Paul Orndorff Elite. 
and I think this is one of the Legends series, I think, coming to Target. Taking this figure and head swapping it and arm swapping it with a Chris Masters basic will give you a beautiful elite Chris Masters, and all you have to do is switch out the boots with some regular boots or any boots that you find to fix that up there, and I think you can even rig it to where the basic boots go on there, so I don't know, that's up to you, but I, that's just something I thought of to make a really simple Chris Masters figure with red trunks, and I think it sits Orndorff or something on the butt, but really simple to get that off. You don't really have to do too much to get that off, but that is the last of the fix-ups that I thought of from all the new figures we're getting. Ran a little longer than I expected, didn't expect it there, but I hope this was entertaining for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy all of these fix-ups. I know a lot of people contact me and ask me to make videos about fix-ups to make and stuff, so hopefully this does the trick and you guys do enjoy all of the fix-ups that I thought about here today. I had a lot of fun, you know, thinking about these. I just kind of looked through some of the new figures and some of the stuff that popped in my head. I'm sure there's way more that we can do, and I'm sure we're going to conduct some of these things when they do release. I am very, very excited to get some of these done because we're going to improve the figures, make different looks for the figures, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below any fix-ups that you thought of. Do you enjoy any of these? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Do you think I did a good job of, you know, assessing these figures and their fix-up ability there? But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.